Hi babies, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing the Tropical Twilight um, collection. I'm really, really excited to review this. I hope you guys will enjoy this video. If this is your first time supporting my channel, you're very much welcome. I hope you like what you see. If you do, don't forget to like, comment, and hit the subscribe button down below. gonna dive straight into the review I've got all the goodies here let me go ahead and show you guys the packaging for the palette so this is the box this is what the box looks like for like all the um all the products I'm hoping this is in focus because my camera likes to play games with me I'm glad because when I first saw the packaging I thought that it would just be the box that was like this but the actual palette is like it as well and literally have you ever ever seen a prettier palette you haven't sorry you have not the palette is 20 pounds and i absolutely think it's worth the money the palette is is huge like it's really big the range of colors are really really nice you have a range of nudes you have shimmers you have pressed glitters which you don't you don't often see like matte pressed glitters and like frost shimmers in the same palette so i think that's amazing how diverse the palette is so next we have the face palette. I'm so glad that Tammy made this because you actually cannot go into a drugstore and find a palette for black women. You cannot find a face palette for black women. If you do, maybe you can only use one shade. So the fact that there's actually like two palettes dedicated to black women and it's affordable as hell, amazing. I believe the face palette was £10. So for a bronzer, a contour, a blush and a highlighter, £10. Honey, you can't get better than that. So this is the palette. Absolutely stunning. Look how deep these shades are. Never in a million years, unfortunately, would I have thought that I could walk into a drugstore and get this. Like, these are not the kind of deep shades that you see in Steve Drug and Boots, you know, UK drugstores. So this is really, really amazing and for only £10 as well. So good. Next we have the lip products. I don't know if my camera is in focus. So we've got this like gorgeous brown lip liner called Glory, and then we've got this lip gloss which is called Muse, and this lip gloss which is called Gone Rogue. I'm really excited to try these out as well. So I'm gonna be doing a little demo of obviously like the face powder, the eyeshadow, the lips, and all of that. But I'm gonna do a few swatches. So this is the blush, this is the bronzer, and this is the contour. If you can see my forehead at the bottom, I apologise, but my camera literally not focus um and then this is the highlighter but these are some swatches from the palette absolutely gorgeous and so pigmented as you can see this shade is called nightfall we have night walk the middle firefly which i think is such a pretty name then we have eclipse on my pinky and then on my thumb i don't know what it is but the darker shades in the palette literally just stood out to me because they just look so deep even before i had the palette they just look so deep and rich in pigment and they are even more so in person they're actually stunning i think these may be the colors i'm gonna work with today if i can think of a look to do the shade i'm gonna be working with is nightfall which is that lovely deep kind of teal blue that I swatched. Um, always remember to keep your blending brush handy just because you know this can see what's going to crease. So I'm going to pop this colour into my crease. Look at that. So pretty. No. Mm? Guys. I actually think these are pressed pigments if I'm correct. I think so. I'm really just freestyling with this look so boy. That's just pray that it comes out nice. See, I have very creased lids, so I have to kind of really open my eyes when I'm putting shadows in my crease. But this is so pigmented, like it's not even a joke at all. Because I'm working with a wet base, I press my shadows in before I blend them. And obviously, using the concealer does add to how pigmented it is, but I think even if you was working with a dry base, like it would still slap really and truly so right on top of that i'm gonna attempt to put night walk which was a deep green i swatched i'm literally just placing it on top the colors are merging together but that's actually kind of what we want
I know it's looking so crazy right now. It's looking so crazy. I'm gonna pattern it, don't worry. Going back in with the night walk and I'm just, you know, making sure that the colour is there. Just very lightly blending it. These two shades, they're very different, but at the same time, so similar. They're just kind of gelling together a little bit too much but that might have just been my bad for picking two such strong colours so obviously as you can see I'm back in with night walk now and I'm just you know buffing it out very very lightly and now I, I guess you can see that the two colours are different shaded love that take a little bit of mojito it's like a mojito green basically I didn't swatch this before but it's kind of like a lime green and I am gonna use that as my other transition shade right above my walk don't want it to be too much Good. I love this it's so tempting to do a cut crease I'm not good at dolls what I'm gonna do however is take ooh, just a hint a C12 on each lid and then I'm just gonna clean up my lid space for a new colour. These shades are like butter guys, like literally. So now I'm putting on Starry Night. Now it is going on really nicely but I think I'm just gonna spray my brush a tiny bit. I'm actually gonna come back with a night walk over here. I'm gonna blend that out. I look like I'm a little bit pitchy. Back in with a night walk. I'm really gonna pat this on the outer area. And then I'm gonna blend. I'm gonna take it a little bit more into the crease area. Dust off the excess in my brush and just buff out the edges, especially here. Going back in with night the green now I'm gonna blend that out with mojito again I'm gonna go in with firefly I feel like it's a bit risque I don't know if it's gonna mess up the look but I'm just oh okay popping this in between um starry night and nightfall this is really cool. No, this is okay. Like I'm not much of a glitter babe. Like I don't really, I don't really like the glitter like that. Yeah, but this is cute. Maybe able to tell that I kind of left my inner corner of my lid bare as well as also my tears up. And I'm gonna take the shade Moon Lip, which is really really pretty. Oh, oh, yes, I mean. This is giving me like carnival vibes. Like, I was on the float for carnival wearing like these other colors. This is like the kind of look that I would do. Okay. So now I'm going in with Mojito. I literally make the ugliest faces when I, um, when I film and I'm all oh, blending. It's horrible. And I promised myself while I edit that I would stop doing this because it's it just makes me want to delete all my recordings. Ugh. Finish with my eye look. I chose some kind of like low key lashes just so I could really emphasize the shadow. I do want to wear dramatic lashes and take away from that look. Jumping onto the face palette, I'm gonna first start by bronzing. The bronzer shade is called Bronze Bell. Really, I'm a little bit heavy handed, so I'm scared. Ooh, you know what I love about this? It's similar to the bronzer shade that I use at the moment. This is really nice. I've gone a little bit heavy. I'm a heavy handed babe. But regardless, oh my god, it's very nice. And it is, mm, it's such a nice shade. And it's exactly the kind of shade that I like. I live for a warm bronze. Not a bronzer that's kind of brown. Like this has got like kind of reddish hints to it. 
so I absolutely love that it just it honestly looks like I use the bronze with the Juvia's Place Lash palette in volume one I really like this guys like I really 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 like this it might be coming across as harsh on camera but I mean this is how I don't make up anyway I really like this if you don't bronze already like as a black woman I mean you need to start because it's so lovely it just adds so much warmth to your face I don't even think I did my forehead, can you imagine? Just had a little bit. Right there. I like to go into my edges just because obviously my scalp is obviously going to be lighter. Of course, now I'm switching to an angled brush, angled contour brush. So this shade is called contour chic or contour chic i don't know but yeah okay it's a very brown you know i usually use a really um warm contour but i like this and the two colors are just melting together so nicely now i'm gonna try the blush i've actually never used a red blush before i'm hoping it's not like so red um, I don't want to look to get all Christmassy with my green eyeshadow and that, but oh, I'm scared. Can we just. No, I'm scared. I don't want to be so heavy handed like I usually am. Um... I just, I can't navigate the shade, I can't. You know what it is? I feel like, obviously, the blush. The bronzer is so reddish and then the blush is so reddish. Nothing wrong with that, but me personally, I'm just not a red blush babe. I'm gonna highlight now, really excited for this. Again, I'm gonna try not to, wow, this is strong. I just switched on my leg, this is strong. I'm gonna try not to be so heavy handed. Just gonna... Guys, when I tell you I dipped, dipped the tiniest bit into this, like this is, Wow, pigmented. I mean, and it's such a nice, pretty gold. Like, it's, it's just gold. It's called Golden Hour, and the name did not lie. So, I'm switching to a smaller brush. I like to switch to a smaller brush to highlight the smaller areas of my face. So I'm going to highlight my brow bone again, just tapping into it because this color is so strong. Like, I'm literally having to dust off the excess each time. But look at that. So, so, so strong. In a good way, of course. Brow bone. I mean, not brow bone. What's this called? Cubic bone. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna I know that looks a little bit crazy, but I'm gonna blend it out. I live to blend out my highlights on my back. I just I can't go outside like that. Like, I can't. And you know what, like, the consistency of all of these powders, the eyeshadows, the face palette, it's like butter, like, it's just, everything's so smooth, like, everything is so bloody smooth. I go look on my forehead, I do sometimes look for a good forehead highlight. Now I'm moving on to the lips, so I'm gonna line my lips with the lip liner, of course, which is called Glory. two colours, Muse and Gone Rogue. I don't know which one to choose. I think I'm just going to use a bit of both. So I'm going to go in with Gone Rogue. Nope, this is Muse first. Just a tad. Very nice. Didn't put too much. I'm going in with Gone Rogue. Ooh. I'm gonna dust this away now and set my face and come back to show you guys the like complete final look. 
as well as give you guys my final thoughts on all the products although i thought i had been doing that throughout the entirety of the video anyways so this is a finished look guys and i absolutely love how it came out like i was actually freestyling on this look especially the eyeshadow so i'm really really glad of how it came out so my overall thoughts on the palette i mean i already knew i was gonna love it but i love it even more than i thought i was gonna love it i love how diverse the eyeshadow palette is in terms of the shades as well as the kind of diversity of the different shadows so there were mattes shimmers glitters which is really like i said earlier it's really rare to find a palette with like pressed glitters in it as well as mattes etc so i absolutely love that the face palettes mwah, like the bronzer exceeded my expectations you know i didn't even think it was going to be this rich in color i thought it was going to be rich in color but not this warm so i absolutely love that i love the contour shade as well i don't usually go for brown contour so i really really like that and the highlighter absolutely gorgeous love the lip product all over tropical twilight gets like a 10 out of 10 for me i could never give it any less so i absolutely love this collection i would 110 percent even 100 200 recommend that you pick up this collection you absolutely love it the way i do thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy this video don't forget to like comment hit the subscribe button down below and hopefully i'll see you in a later video